to export your character, go to explorer, then click on your username. Then right click, then go down until you see export selection, then click on that. Then save your character somewhere you can find it very easily. I recommend putting it in folders since it's organized and much easier. Then click save once you're done. You can already delete your character since we have saved it already and we will now go to the models. Go to toolbox then go to models and you can search the model you want. I usually search them by their creators since I have um, creators that I usually use for my GFXs and I'll be putting them in the screen if you want to use them. So to export the model, you just export it the, the same way you exported the characters. So right click the model and export selection. Step 3 is to look for a background. I recommend using HEIs because they have really great quality. But um, you can also use um, the backgrounds from Google, Pinterest, WeHearted. Tumblr, um, anywhere you can find images as backgrounds, whichever works with you, you can use that. Okay, so once you've opened Blender 2.79, there will be a box there, but we're not going to be using any of these right now because we'll be opening the woman rig file. So the woman rig file will be in the description below, so go download that so you can get started with the GFX. But I already have my woman rig saved, so we'll just launch that. And to open that file, you go up here and click on file and open. So once you've opened the rig, it usually looks like this or somewhat like this. Um, yeah, uh, there is a version where the rig is broken, so um, make sure that you are not using a broken rig. So this is a working rig, so that's good. So now for the controls to move around, shift F to um, look around and to move while looking around is um, shift F then WASD keys and shift hold shift while holding the WASD to move around faster. So yeah, so um, click uh, the left click to stay in the same position. So I do not recommend uh, clicking the right click when you want to stay in a position so there it's gonna go back to where you were so yeah so when now we're going to start with the GFX so to start with the GFX you need to delete the head these parts of the head only the head don't delete these um, lines because um, it doesn't usually affect the rig but I just don't really mind it being there so I just leave it be click on file then go down until you see import then see these options go down until you see wavefront.obj I'm to import your character and model so find where you save the character there i found my character so your character will usually spawn in the middle of the rig that is fine to move it there will be controls here in the bottom uh here click on the second one that's to move it's sideways backwards or upwards and downwards and this one is to rotate rotate as you see that and this is just um stretching so i'm going to move this in the side 
So it's usually like the opposite. So this is facing this way and this is facing this way. But no problem. You're just going to flip your head the other way around. So now to put the head on the rig, you will take all of your hats, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, to select wood shift. So shift, right click to select the 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 hats together and oh shoot do not click shift d because that is to duplicate that so control j is to join it yes it is and now um you don't want to have the the controls over here in the bottom because um it can like uh the movement of the head won't be accurate um if you know what i mean so you have to go here on top in the tools and set origin to geometry so the arrows can be at the top so it's much easier to move because like there are it's way easier than it being in the bottom just saying and to rotate that i'm just going to type 180 inside and drag it up here there and just to correct the movement just in case there we got our head so we got our head now it's time for the the uh clothing so to put the clothing you could either do it um by each part or use the note editor so you go to note editor and click on the parts not the head but the, the rig part and to move this you use the scroller one you use to scroll on your mouse and zoom in just scroll in and click on the thing the uh folder and find your texture the same place where you saved the obj so make sure to click on the highest numbered texture fit right here so here we have our our um our avatar and you can now delete this um so now we are going to import the model we are going to use for this gfx which is in my files just do the same thing import in wavefront obj and find where you saved the model so here we go it might take a little to load so because the model can be somewhere there yes the model is over there quite far so we're just going to drag it to quite far so we're just going to drag it see um what i mean about a while ago where if you don't set origin to geometry you have to drag it like this and it's very far and not really easy to drag it and but there is no option to set origin to geometry for this one so it's exceptional so here we have our model just drag it a bit more closer on how you want Okay, so I fixed some parts and some were glitching out and yeah, so it's, it's okay now. So time for the posing. So now to drag all, the whole character, just click on this circle in the bottom and your head and it will all move together and just drag that onto the model. For the posing, uh, there are circles and there are like um, squares. So if you want to bend half the arm, you will click on this middle one and bend that. And it will bend like this. And if you want to move the whole hand, you click.
click on this one in the top and it moves it this way so basically that's that's how you move the hands and for the feet you're just going to use this this is how to bend it like this that is how you bend the feet and if you want to bend the leg you bend it this way yeah and there are more here um some of them don't usually work this one will bend the very tip of your foot and this one is going to this um one is going to bend your hand so now i'm going to pose my character and there is um there are squares in the middle of the body which can bend the body this way or that way or if you want to move it backwards or forwards i'm just going to bend mine to the right and I'm going to move my head a little bit over here here um this big square is going to move your whole body not including the head though To import the HDRI, click on this world icon or the earth icon, then click add notes. It will be in the surface part and click on that. Once you've clicked on that, you go to color and click this dot and go on environment texture. And now click open and import the HDRI you have saved. I'm just going to find where I save that. Have the HDRI here now and there simply click on add then go to camera then go to view then click on camera to move the camera and now you can pose your camera rendered there that would that if so this is the rendered view of my gfx i am not yet done i just wanted to see how it looks in rendered it will look better once it has rendered the image to add some effects on the gfx like emission like make this light glow so that it looks better of the HDRI is not really enough so I am going to add some sun to add your sun click here in the bottom add and lamp then sun it's going to add the sun then exit camera then the sun will be like somewhere here or anywhere just drag it and to put the sun you will you will put it somewhere, anywhere you want. I'm going to put mine over here. You see this line under the sun, that is the ray. So with the ray, you rotate that until it goes onto your character. Because if you don't do that, the light will not go on your character. So it will be just the same. And it will like put some light on this area, which is not what we want. So now you can fix it and check how it looks. And if it's not how you want it to be, you can fix it even more. It's quite it's, um, a bit more brighter now. And you can make it more brighter by going onto the sun setting and making the strength a bit more.